Today I want to talk to you about one of my favourite artists, Artemisia Gentileschi, and how I've discovered her in this amazing graphic novel. I was really excited to hear about the new graphic novel by Gina Siciliano, as it was about one of my favourite artists, Artemisia Gentileschi. I saw Judith Slaying Holofans, the Florentine masterpiece by the painter and rape survivor Artemisia Gentileschi. The painting struck me so hard, I knew I'd never forget it. As Judith pulls the sword through Holofern's neck, I recognise the look on her face, a determined, vengeful rage, a feeling within many survivors, either suppressed or embraced, or both. Who was this 17th century artist who had the guts to create something so unapologetically violent and raw? An image of organised female aggression that shocked generations of viewers? Gina also so eloquently puts it, Artemisia was one of the old masters. The more new information surfaces about her life and work, the more I see her as a polymath. A mother, painter, musician, writer, survivor. New discoveries continue to convey Artemisia's humour and wit as well. More and more scholars are discovering and translating early modern women writers and radical thinkers. I found out so much more about the society that Artemisia lived in as well. Uh, the fact that she had so many obstacles. I mean, I knew that as a painter, you know, so many years ago, it would be a struggle. But Gina really kind of shows you what what she went through and how persistent she was. Um, so that's why I think she's so inspiring. First of all, when I saw the paintings, I loved them straight away. But now I found out so much more about her life, I love them even more. My favourite painting is Judas slaying Holofern. It is a gruesome but fantastic portrait of rage and retribution. She was producing professional artworks at the age of 15. Her dad was an artist as well. For a long time her work was overshadowed by her life. She was raped and participated in the trial of her rapist. This meant that she was tortured during the trial. Let's finish by focusing on her work. If you want to find out more, check out the amazing illustrated graphic novel by Gina Siciliano or look at the National Gallery exhibition online. Happy looking and reading.